Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how you can integrate Adobe Audition with Adobe Premiere Pro so that you can edit your audios directly in Audition instead of Adobe Premiere Pro. It will give you a lot of flexibility. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. In Premiere Pro, I have already imported a video file. Here is the video file that you have saw in the intro section. So I'm going to edit this audio of this video file using Adobe Audition. Now many of you may wonder why we are going to use audition instead using adobe premiere pro to edit my audios because adobe audition is dedicatedly made for audio so if you use audition to edit your audios you will get better result and there you will get better control when you are editing that is why when you are editing your videos you need to use audition to edit the audios if you want to do some vfx or motion graphics then you can use adobe after effects and when you are arranging video files and working with effects you can use adobe premiere pro so all this software works together this is the reason people like to use adobe creative cloud because they are getting a lot of option to work with right so here is the video file if you want to edit the audio using adobe audition you need to right click here and from here you'll see an option called edit clip in audition if you click here it will take the audio clip in the audition and there you can continue editing so when you are clicking if you see this section is grayed out that means you haven't installed adobe audition you have to first install adobe audition and then this option will be available and make sure when you are installing adobe audition you have to install the exact same version that you are using suppose here i am using adobe premiere pro 2023 version that is the reason i have to use adobe audition 2023 version so let's click here and see what happened so here you can see premiere pro has already sent the audio file in adobe audition and this is the general layout of adobe audition let me reset the layout first so that you can see what is looking like when you are sending a clip in adobe audition so this is the basic layout which is the default one now you can arrange the layout as you want suppose if you want to take this effects rack here you can just click and drag you can position this one here right so this is our effects rack this is our audio timeline where we are going to play back the audio this is the project panel like premiere pro where you are keeping all the audio files that you are going to work with right so if you want to play back the audio you can just go here and then if you press yes, on your keyboard to adobe premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to you can see the audio file is playing back right so first when you are editing the audio maybe you need to normalize the audio to get a proper level so how you can normalize the audio you have to select the whole audio clip if you just double click here then the whole audio clip will be selected then you can go to effects and from here you can go to amplitude and compression and from here you'll see normalize process click here and from here you can normalize the audio as you want so i'm setting the threshold here minus 2 db which will be the peak audio level of my audio if i click apply you can see the audio volume have been increased so the top peak of my audio is minus 20 db right so if i play it back you'll see in the audio level has been increased another adobe premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to now one interesting thing here in adobe premiere pro you can use effects rack to apply different effects suppose you want to use denoise first so you can just click here on this arrow section which is here under the effects rack and from here you can go to noise reduction restoration and from here you can click denoise right then this effect will be applied here right so here is our denoise panel right if i close it you can just double click here to open it again and from here you can adjust the amount that you want to apply for this audio so i want to use maybe eight or seven percent denoising so if i play it back the premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to teach you how, and this is the before tutorial today i'm going to teach you and this is the after today i'm going to teach you how. you can see the noise has been decreased if i increase the denoise a lot it will affect my main audio so i don't want to use a lot of denoise if i play it back now tutorial today i'm going to teach you how. you can see the audio quality have been decreased that is the reason i like to use denoise maybe five to ten percent that is okay now i want to use equalizer to equalize my audio right so here on the second effects i will add equalizer and from here i will add parametric equalizer if i click here then that effect will be applied here and from here i can go to default and then i can just use a high pass and a low pass so that the humming sound and the low frequency sound will be cut off right 
next again i will add another parametric equalizer from here and from here i will add some clarity to my voice so if i go to here on the vocal enhancer it will add some clarity right if i show you the v4 here is the v4 how you can integrate adobe and here is the after audition with adobe premiere Pro. it is cutting a lot of low end of my voice so i'm just using my mouse cursor to adjust it maybe this much so that's it if i show you the before this is the before so that you can edit it. and this is the after your audios directly in audition instead adobe premiere now we need to use a compressor to compress our audio so why you need to use a compressor compressor is a process where you are leveling the audio right suppose when you are talking you are not talking at the same audio level suppose you are talking very quietly and again you are talking very loudly for this kind of scenario you need to use a compressor so that it can compress the louder part of your audio and it can increase the quieter part of your audio and that will give a better experience to the audience so that they doesn't need to increase the volume of your video every single time when you're talking very quietly right so this is the process we're going to use to compress go here again the fourth effects here click and then go to amplitude and compression and from here you can use multi-band compressor or you can use single band compressor i'll use multi-band compressor for this purpose and from here you can use a preset called uh, maybe this one which is broadcast audio and then if you play it back we audition with adobe premiere pro so that you can edit your audios directly in audition instead adobe premiere pro it will give you a lot of flexibility so without wasting any more time let's get started you can just decrease a little bit with adobe premiere pro so that you can edit your audios directly in audition in your pro tutorial today i'm going so we have applied a compressor now we need to use a limiter that will limit our audio level so that it doesn't clip so i'll use hard limiter from here click here and then set a limiter maybe minus 3 db so that highest audio peak will not cross that audio threshold which is minus 3 db so this is the limiter if i press apply these effects that we have organized one by one will be applied on our audio right so let's apply the audio effects you can see here in the waveform the audio have been edited and it is compressed and if i play it back welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to teach you how you can integrate adobe audition with adobe it is sounding a lot better right so how you can send back this audio file in adobe premiere pro you don't need to do anything you have to just press ctrl or command s to save it right then it will be automatically sent in adobe premiere pro just wait for a second i'm going to teach you how you can integrate you adobe can that audio have been applied here in adobe premiere pro that is sounding much better right so this is going to the after and here is our before if i play it yeah. back hey guys this is james and welcome to here is our before if i play it back edit your audios edit your audios this is the after right here is the before edit your audios here is the after edit your audios so that's it that is how you can edit the audio in adobe audition and then you can send it back to adobe premiere pro so that you can get a better experience with that audio editing process right if you guys are interested to learn adobe audition let me know in the comment section below i'll make separate tutorial on adobe edition so that you can learn properly so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye